Oxford English. Lesson 40. Progress quiz. This is the progress quiz for 21 to 40. 21 to 40. It is the progress quiz. Lição 40. A lição 40 é uma avaliação para que você verifique como estão os seus conhecimentos de inglês. Exercise 2. Gaps. Exercício número 2. Espaços vazios. Preencha os espaços do texto com as palavras que você vai escutar agora nestas frases. What do you think of Oxford? I'm going out with a friend. Can I help you with your case? Look at that view. When are you coming back from Paris? Exercise 7. Same here. Exercício número 7. Eu também. Utilize sou ou nor se você pensa a mesma coisa. Primeiro, escute os exemplos. I must go. So must I. I don't want to go. No do I. E agora você continua. Fale alto e claro. But I've got to catch a plane. So have I. I'm going to London on business. So am I. I don't like London very much. Nor do I. And I can't speak English very well. Nor can I. But I must go. So must I. I've got a meeting in the morning. So have I. I don't want to go at all. Nor do I. I like it here. So do I. No, I'm not going to go. Nor am I. I can go next week. So can I. I'm going to telephone my office in London. So am I. Exercise 10. Contradictions. Exercício número 10. Contradiga as frases. Você vai contradizer ou negar estas frases. Antes, escute os exemplos. You were late. No, I wasn't. I was early. He's married. No, he isn't. He's single. Agora, é você que vai contradizer cada expressão que escutar. They're upstairs. No, they aren't. They're downstairs. She was on holiday. No, she wasn't. She was on business. He's got fair hair. No, he hasn't. He's got dark hair. The weather was wet. No, it wasn't. It was dry. They've got boring friends. No, they haven't. They've got interesting friends. It was a terrible match. No, it wasn't. It was a terrific match. <laughs> Exercise 13. I'd like to meet him. Exercício número 13. Gostaria de conhecê-lo. Agora, você fará perguntas conforme os exemplos. He speaks six languages, doesn't he? Yes, he does. He's got a wonderful smile, hasn't he? Yes, he has. He's interesting and kind, isn't he? Yes, he is. Pronto. 
Agora você continua perguntando em voz alta. Comece com A. He's got houses in London and Rome, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Continue com B. He drives a Rolls Royce, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Agora a pergunta C. He understands women, doesn't he? Yes, he does. E a pergunta D. His English is excellent, isn't it? Yes, it is. E finalmente, a pergunta E. He's single, isn't he? Yes, he is. I'd like to meet him. Exercise 14. Pronunciation. Exercício número 14. Pronúncia. Preste atenção nestas palavras. Circule as que têm o mesmo som. Spell. All. Tall. Hall. Small. Snowing. Going. Shower. Hour. Flower. Beer. Near. Here. Year. Thin, them, ten, when, would, good, could. Who, shoe, do, you, aunt, can't, aunt. Pair, there, hair. Chair, there, pear, apple. Daughter, water, your, sure, your. Cake, take. Look, cook, key, three, tea, tree. C. Exercise 16. Questions. Exercício número 16. Perguntas. Responda às perguntas em voz alta, primeiro afirmativamente e em seguida negativamente. Do you like driving? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Have you got a car? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Do you like watching football? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Can you play tennis? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Are you good at languages? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Do you like English? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Was lesson 19 interesting? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Are you looking forward to lesson 21? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. E aqui chegamos ao final da avaliação e da lição 40.